don't know, man. I just he, always every year you had him, even in his hurt year you had him. <laughs> he was out all year. You still had Andrew Luck. I did. Yeah, I don't know why, but I guess that's a good old reliable with him just in case. But I don't know. I just I, he. We'll see if he bounced back this year. That's why I just picked him. I'm like, let's see if he bounced back. And like, and Kevin, like, oh, you got Andrew Luck again. I'm like, <laughs> again, <Yep>. again. <laughs> Uh, somehow I still get this guy many, many years. All right. Giants at the Cowboys. Good divisional game, NFC East. I'm actually going to go with the Giants. Are you? Want to know why? Why? Because Dallas's offensive line, for how good everybody makes them out to be, they're good in the running game. They suck at pass protection. Yeah. They suck at protecting the quarterback. I'm like, for you guys to be that vaunted, y'all sure do suck at keeping him upright. Yeah. They, um, I know they put a few more in the box with, with the receiver situation with the Cowboys, so. Oh, it's terrible. I'm still- but I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the Giants, though, just because the Giants pull out that similar game plan. They mm-hmm. got Odell Beckham open a lot. Yeah. And they got him open underneath. And it, 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 they can get him, they can get him open against Dallas. Okay. They were getting him open against us. They can definitely get him open against Dallas. All right, I'm gonna go with the Cowboys. I'm gonna see. But don't go. But don't go stupid like all the rest of them people did and saying he had 11 catches and 111 yards against Ramsey. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now everybody was like, no, nah, oh. that's, that's that's not their scheme. That's that's if different people are at the same time. I don't know they was going about that. So. Dude, dude, dude. He caught one on Ramsey and everybody freaked out. I was like, okay. Y'all do realize it was third and 22, and he only got 11 yards and got tackled. So yeah. don't 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 go all freaky-deaky and freak out and everything. Yeah, they all they, they just want to see these – they put these these battles on these certain players and stuff. Oh, let's see. It. Like, no. no the Jazz yeah, but and then, and then we were running zone, and they were coming underneath, and it, it was just all – they were throwing a bunch of pick plays and stuff, so – we should be ready for the Patriots because the Giants were running a bunch of pick plays. Yeah. So, yeah, we should be right ready for the Patriots running pick plays. All right. Except all their guys are white. So. <laughs> Seahawks at the Bears. Bears get another primetime game. Wow. Uh-uh, Bears. I think the Bears win, too. There's something going on in Seattle. It was cool seeing uh, the Griffin brothers play it up. But the cool, that's what I was about to say. But the cool part is everybody that looked at me stupid and told me that I was wrong for saying that Griffin was going to start the year and he was going to start at linebacker for the Seahawks. I want everyone to apologize to me. I didn't go that to stand to say you was crazy, but I do want to apologize because I thought he was going to start off on special teams. I told y'all he was going to play. So I thought you want to know why he was going to play because they didn't have nobody else. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was going to call didn't have nobody else. And he player. showed that he was going to be pretty good. Yeah. Nah, he, he, he's – oh, man, he's quick to the ball. But she had, he was like that at UCL too. So, that's the thing about him. I he wish, was really, really I wish we would have put him with Telvin Smith and Miles Jack. Mm-hmm. I wish we would have put him in with those guys and played our weak side linebacker and let him run around with those two. Speed kills, man. Damn, good God, we would have had the kills. fastest wide <laughs> linebacking group <laughs> ever. Yeah. I do got the Bears winning though. I think they they showed yeah. me something for like, you know, three quarters and then. And the Bears have got weapons now too. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. They they look they look great. So I'm I'm a I, I thought the Bears gonna be a little better. I, yeah, they're gonna be better. They, they just in a tough. Just give the ball to Jordan Howard. Yeah. <laughs> oh. On the goal for, line. For your please sake. stop letting please stop letting the quarterback run the ball in and just hand it off, please. For your sake, huh? Who's yeah. calling you? I don't know. <laughs> I just but I'm that. like, please hand it off to Howard instead of letting the quarterback run the ball in. <laughs> <laughs> they got on my nerves. Nah, you're good, bro. All right. Now the game of the week that we was going to wait for. <laughs> the 425 game on Sunday, you got the Patriots at the Jaguars. The rematch. I know since you want to break the go first, it really depends on Fournette plays. And I don't know if he's how healthy he is. And I think that the pass is going to get this game. But let me finish. I do think Jaguars get their, will get their revenge in the playoffs. Nah, yeah. Well, we all got them going to the Super Bowl, so they yeah. better. So it's 
the thing that's going to be, I think it's going to be a low-scoring game because of the uh, the heat. But Bill Belichick is a master of schemes. But y'all going to figure that because that's the thing. Y'all going to get some tape on it and figure it out. And y'all going to meet him in oh, yeah. the playoffs and y'all going to win. Well, Tom Brady has only played one game where it has been over 90 degrees and he lost. And it's dang sure going to be over 90 degrees here on Sunday. But I just think I just think with the factor, with the way the crowd's going to be, the team, you know they're not saying it, but you know they want this game. And in order for them to do what I think they're going to be able to do this year, they have to win this game in order to get home field advantage into the playoffs yeah. because it's going to come down to tiebreakers here and there, and this is going to be their, big, going to be their biggest tiebreaker. Mm-hmm. And I think even if Fournette doesn't play, I think that it's going to be one of those defensive battles again. And I think they're going to rely on Blake's legs a lot more in this game than we've saw in past games, even though they relied on him. And even though they relied on him at the end of the Giants game to take off on that 40 yard run, Mm -hmm. they're going to rely on him to do that kind of more during this game with the little reads and everything like that if Fournette's out. But I think I think the Jaguars end up winning just based on defense alone. Plus, this place is going to be insane. I was about to ask you, what's, what's the buzz around the city like this week? Oh, it's it's ridiculous, dude. It's ridiculous. Till shirts flying off of the thing. People are having mouths. Jack wasn't down. Shirts made <laughs> just in this game. They got a banner that's going to be flying before it. It said, Miles, Jack still not down. They, it's It's... They, they're it, it's insane, dude. This is going to be. If you could come, I would love. I would have loved to have had you here for this game because this one is going to be the one that everybody wanted to go to. It's it, it. The buzz is bigger than it was last year when Seattle came to town. Really? Yes, wow. because everybody think everybody is saying this game is where the Jaguars put their stamp. Make sure everybody knows that they're for real. And this is going to be the time where the Jaguars are going to take over. And so this is the one game that everybody's putting putting their money on. Because I know we play Pittsburgh later on in the year, but who's to say what Pittsburgh is going to be or what Jacksonville is going to be when that comes around. Yeah. But this is the game that everybody's going, look, if the Jaguars want to send the message out, right now is when we have to go and do it. And I think I think the players know it. The coaching staff knows it. The coaching staff knows if they get the lead on them, they can't sit and it's going to be damn hot, and we just and the crowd's going to be all amped up. It's it's that time. I think we get it. Well, you know what? You're going to have probably eighty five percent of the nation rooting for y'all. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody that was in blue, except for them people up there in the lobster country. Everybody else, it's it's going to be it's going to be insane, dude. I can't I cannot wait for Sunday. Oh man! Like I I am stoked for Sunday. Dude, I know you probably got a little more pep in your step, and and uh, you wearing your colors proudly and everything like Dude, that. Dude, I went so. and got a new shirt. I got a new hat. <laughs> I, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Clearing the vocal cords. And don't man. worry, and I'll send you a picture of the the shirt and the hat afterwards. You're gonna kick a, get a kick out of yeah. it. Yeah, I'm telling you, you better Snapchat some of this stuff, man, because I know when you Snapchat. Oh, it's, it's, gonna, I, be, it's gonna I'm gonna be. I'm gonna do a lot of picture taking and a lot of a lot of stuff for the uh, for this game. This this. This is the game that I. This is this is that one I had earmarked even at the end of last year. I knew we were playing them, <laughs> and I was like, "This is the one I want because yeah. I can't stand New England." Mm-hmm. Hey, we even, both can't. They're stand definitely New even England. going up there. I can't even stand them even more. Uh-huh. So trust me, I lived there for two years, so I had to deal with their fans or something else. You got some good fans up there, but for the most part, the hey, older fans, older fans, great. Yeah, younger fans, y'all can suck my super, yeah. super, super nauseous. <laughs> oh, dude, it's not even. It's not even close. Them nothing. You can't tell the it's not even, fans. It's nothing. not even close. It's <laughs> like I told one of them. I said, "Boy, howdy." He was like, "What?" I said, "When y'all start being bad, Ooh. I feel sorry for you." Man, did you understand how my strut was when we beat them to go to the well? When we got thrashed by oh, the yeah. Seahawks, man, I strut around so much around there. My Broncos gear on, man. I was like, "Try me." I ain't no small black dude either, so try me. <laughs> Walk around. Oh, I, I, I love it, man. I, I, but I, I think I think we get them this game, though. I think yeah. there's just this is this is one of those things the city's been waiting on for a while. Good man. Last year the city was waiting on it, but this is where you can feel it, and just going around all week long and everything, you can feel it. 
I'm excited for y'all, man. Yeah. Everybody, go Jags. Go. This is what this is what we've been waiting on for ten miserable years. Yeah. We've well, been waiting to have this feeling back on our football team for years. Is it weird that I'm getting goosebumps while you're talking about this? Oh, dude, it's it's going. Dude, imagine how I'm going to be when I get in there. Nah, because I know how passionate you are about it, so it's the way to hear you talking. You know, about and it. you know, cool. and you know, usually when I go into a game, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, no, it, it's the you drive ready? down is going to be insane. Oh, you ready? The, yeah. <laughs> the atmosphere <laughs> there is going to be insane. It's going to be. It's going to be one of those things where I'm just going to put hype music on Spotify and drive down <laughs> and just get – this is that – this is – Are you going to play Eminem and lose yourself? This, <laughs> this is the game I want – yeah, no, no, I ain't even playing that. I'm playing others. Yeah. But this this is the game – this is the game I want more than any of them of the year. Yeah. This is the one. I hope y'all get it too. I just – don't this know is about the this, Fournette this is the one where I want to be able to walk out of the stadium talking junk. Oh yeah, I know Fournette telling wants to all play of too. them to take the ass back to Boston. I know Fournette wants to play too. I know he wants to play. He want he wants to play. If if you tell him if you in my gut, I think he's going to play. Yeah. How effective he's going to be on the other hand, I don't know. But in my gut, I think he's going to go out there. That's just in my gut. Yeah, and we're wearing teal for this game, so you know how hyped that makes everybody. Oh, I saw yeah on Twitter that y'all was like y'all y'all fans voted for the teal. <laughs> so. Yeah, well we kept telling them. Everybody kept telling them wear teal. I was like, no, wear white. Make them dudes wear that dark blue crap. <laughs> I wanted them to sweat. Oh man! All right. The uh, Patriots and fans be out there going, yeah, it's the hat. <laughs> it's, it's it's wicked hat. <laughs> Any uh, college game you want to highlight? No. No? Because we suck. It hurt, man. It hurt watching that. I watched that whole – well, no, I watched all the way up to, like, the fourth quarter. I'm like, okay, I can't watch anymore. Well, hurt is what knowing the field goal was good. You know what? That drove me absolute crazy. I said, that good. That was good. <laughs> you can clearly see it. And then for them to go, it's not reviewable. How is a scoring play not reviewable? They need to change that. I don't. I don't get that. But then FSU is just as bad as us. So yeah, yeah. That's that's a silver lining. I, I they're just as bad. But there is some good games on this weekend. Yeah, yeah. I'm pulling them up here in a little bit. Just to, yeah. There, there, there's some, there's some good games on this weekend. Um, Let's not get it wrong. We just don't base it off of what <laughs> on what our team does or who, who we talk about and who we don't talk about. But well, I feel bad. But there definitely is some good games on. Yeah, I feel bad because length well, the weather permitted it. It canceled the UCF game for at uh, yeah. North Carolina. Well, you heard uh, you heard what a lot of schools like in Tennessee, Tennessee's doing it, Florida's doing it, and everything. If you evacuated and from South Carolina or North Carolina, if you show your ID, they give you tickets to the game, stuff like that. So they're trying to take people's minds off of the hurricane Good. and everything like that by giving people tickets Good. and stuff. So the few rankings yeah. that are being held, well, they're not playing at Virginia Tech. And then West Virginia is not playing either, so yeah, play. yeah, because because of all the weather and stuff. Yeah. But um, yeah, because West Virginia was supposed to play North Carolina, mm-hmm. but North Carolina that West Virginia would have killed North Carolina. Yeah, all right. <laughs> but they had uh, the the good game is Ohio State against um, TCU. It's gonna be a good game. That one's going to be a good game. LSU versus uh, Auburn is playing. That's going to be twelve or seven. Twelve. Yep, LSU that'll be a good. Auburn. That'll be all right. Uh, Boise State and Oklahoma State. Yeah, that'll, that'll be a good game too. Uh, you can go sit on their throne. <laughs> so, but pretty much the top seeds they're playing cupcakes. So, uh, I'm really excited to see that uh, Ohio State TCU TCU game. So, um, yeah, because I want to see if TCU can keep up with them. Yeah, yeah, because I think Ohio State actually is, is pretty good. Mm-hmm. I just think their coach shouldn't be coaching there no more after he gets done with his suspension. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I don't for the reason, for, for how they still keep him there, I know why they kept him there because he wins. But I just don't, I don't think winning is the be all end all when it comes to stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, situation there. But yeah, yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do about that. But uh, cool. at the end of the season, he should have been gone. That that's that simple. But you know, they're not going to do it. I know it's only two games, and we're on week three now, college. And uh, I want to give 
kudos to Herm Edwards, man. He's starting 2-0 with Arizona State.